So, John, you you do a lot of benchmarking in warehouses and distribution centres. Can you show us what you do? Yes, Rob, I can. So this is a, a live demonstration of some software we use uh, called Benchmark. And what it allows us to do is build a model. And within that model, we have to fill out various parameters around our ben benchmark. For example, we have to choose the time period, the cost per hour, the activity. We would go through the warehouse operations, uh, warehouse basics in terms of the size of the warehouse, how we use the space. We look at whether we do uh, interleaving or dual cycling. And finally, we, we determine what equipment we're using in the different mm. areas. So once we've filled out all that data, we can go calculate uh, the software and then it gives us an overall summary of where the heads are within the DC. Oh. So this, uh, this allows us uh, to, to be calibrated to your specific DC and we do that by moving to this uh, performance against standard and we set that up. So if I ch said, well, actually we're operating at 70% against standard and we calculate that, uh, what happens is it recalculates all those numbers and and in fact what I have to do is put 70% and hit tab and then calculate and it recalculates those numbers and so now we're using 24 people when we're operating at that work standard. So we can use this to see what happens when we're at different work standards, we can use this to see what happens when we have different activity and we can use this by for as a continuous improvement tool or what if when we change things. I could change some mechanical handling equipment mm. and say, instead of picking with a reach truck, I'm going to be picking with a short right on fork, which is typically uh, what we would be doing. And as I put, this is live, and I've got to have this to 100%, so I've got to change this number to zero. I hit recalculate. It goes to an overall summary. I flip back to my front screen and I'm not sure it changed anything there, but that's the type of mm. that's the type of operation that we go through. Uh, we look at the headcount, we look at what the cost per unit are, the overall cases per hour. So this, as I said uh, earlier in another uh, clip, is allows us to do ABC cost analysis, allows us to do labour prediction, allows us to do continuous improvement by making changes with the warehouse. For example, the mean distance between SKU would allow us to assess the value of product slotting. Mm. So again, that's one of the parameters in here we can change and we can see the impact on headcount. So that's the software, Rob, that uh, I think, you know, a number of companies would say, what are the benefits I'm going to get out of product slotting? We could set yeah. the benchmark up and we could give yeah. them an estimate of what the benefits might be. Also like. using different types of handling technologies. And yeah. That's, that's cool. <clears throat> can we run a, uh, a webinar on this? Maybe go into a lot I more detail? I think that's a very good idea, Rob. I think we should. And yeah, we uh, should. maybe in the meantime, if uh, anybody wants to uh, have a go at this and try and improve their warehouse operations, they can give you a call anyway, John. Thank you. That's interesting. Definitely we're going to add that to our webinar list. Thanks, John. Good. Thank you.